Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm here with my completed pages for March 2024. I actually managed to get quite a few pages done this month. Um, I did 11 in total. Um, one was a whip, which is the one in this book. Um, the rest were new starts, so quite a good month for me. Um, so let's dive in. So the first page is from Crystal Vogel's Osmore Rice, or Osmore Rice, I'm not 100% sure how that, um, how to say that, um, but it's a gorgeous book. And I did this page. So I, um, as I say, started this one last month um, and it was a whip and I didn't get very far with it. I'd done, I think I'd done the background and um, perhaps laid in a few colors here and there. So oh, I can't remember how much I'd done by the last time you saw it, but um, completed now. Sorry for the glare, I'm filming this at night, which is a bit unusual for me. Hopefully you can see the sparkle and shine from the light there. So for this page, I used my Distress watercolour pencils to create my background. Um, I like these. They're quite soft and they're not as opaque as like a Neo Colour or um, uh, an Ink Tense pencil or anything like that. So they're quite transparent, I think. Um, they work better on some papers than others. I find they work really well in my um, Rita Berman books. Um, but I wanted to try them out and um, yeah, just kind of created a fairly soft background. Then went in with my Black Widow pencils for all of the other shading and pencil work. Um, so everything else was done in just pencils. Um, I used some Secura Stardust, which you can see on my B here, hopefully, you can see that shine um, in the, the center of my flowers and around my butterfly here. Um, I used a little bit on her dress and her hat and on their outfits. So I used a few different colors to just create some sparkle and shine on the page. I used my Signo white gel pen to go around the edge of my white flowers here, although the pink did bleed a little bit into my flowers there, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I also used Sparkle Pop. I think actually the Sparkle Pop was for the, the gold bits, was Sparkle Pop pen, uh, a little bit different from um, the Secure Jelly Roll. So you can see that shine. Um, and I did this one, this is the first page I've done in this book. So I did it for the hashtag March Colour Your Hoard 2024 and that's hosted by Tease World of Adult Colouring and Lavella's Colouring. So I did quite a few <laughs> first pages this month in um, kind of untouched books so I used that hashtag quite a lot this month. But yeah, that was my little um, adventure in this book. I was a bit disappointed because I put some um, black Jelly Roll Stardust on the little spots of the ladybug and I smudged it, which I was really annoyed about so I wasn't patient enough to wait. Um, but other than that, I quite like the page. I do feel, I don't feel it's quite right. I feel like my colors were a bit off. Perhaps yellow, adding the yellow and the red was a bit, a bit much. I'm not sure if I like the kind of yellow green with all the kind of bluish greens. I don't know, it, it didn't quite work for me. Um, I like the flowers and the leaves. I like this little bird. Um, yeah, something was not quite right with this one, but it's a done, it's finished page and I really like this book. So I'm looking forward to doing more in here. So that was in Crystal Vogel's Osmoris. Next up, I did a buddy colour with um, the wonderful um, Meg, from, sorry, Megan from Disney Meg's Colouring. We did a page in this book, which is the Art Therapy um, Hatchet Heroes Love Stories, Disney Love Stories. And this is by Tracy D'Souza. And I did, or well, we did, this page. So I will pop, um, let me see me out a little bit so I can fit it all in. I will pop Megan's amazing page up here. So we did the same page. Um, they're quite similar, obviously, because <laughs> the characters are Peter Pan and Wendy, and we all know that Peter Pan and Wendy wear green and blue, and obviously little Tinkerbell here as well. Um, 
I did mine all with Copic markers. So yeah, that's Megan's beautiful page. She did an amazing job. Thank you so much for buddying with me, Megan. Thanks for reaching out and suggesting this one. I'm really enjoying working in this book. So yeah, this is the page that I did. Um, as I say, let me zoom you back in again a little bit. Sorry, keep going the wrong way. Um, I did mine all with Copic markers. So I added a little bit of Secure Jelly Roll Stardust. Um, I used the clear on Tinkerbell's little wings there. So they've got some nice um, sparkle and shine. And I used green um, on her little shoes and her little hair tie. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it a great deal. I also used a Signo Metallic Gold gel pen for all of the kind of fairy dust sparkle bits. So it's nice and shiny. <laughs> um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Megan, again, for buddying with me. And we did this for Megan's hashtag, which was Colour Di Disney with Meg. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this one. I was a little unsure of what to do in the background. Um, so this is a movie still, and I did search it up online. And in some pictures, the kind of background piece was just all completely dark and in other pictures um everything was kind of the same color blue as her dress and I decided I would do it slightly differently and have a bit of a turquoise and red combo going on um yeah I just thought that looked quite old-fashioned and of the time period so that was that was the kind of plan I went with but yeah I like working in this page. My other big um, issue was the windows and how to colour the windows. Um, part of me felt like I should have this kind of stripe pattern going on in the background as well to reflect the fact that you're looking into the room through the window, but I decided that was too difficult and just decided to do them a light blue colour. Um, so as I say, yeah, all of, all done with my Copic markers apart from a bit of gel pen detail as well, but lots of fun. Really enjoyed that one. That's nice and sparkly. So that was Love Stories, Disney Love Stories, um, Art Therapy Hatchet Heroes, and it's by Tracy D'Souza. Next up, a couple of um, different books for me. I'm going to have to zoom you out a little bit more, I think, to get these ones in. Um, and these are rather large books. Um, I've had these ones sitting on my shelf for quite some time and have not done anything in them. <laughs> um, they are the Colour by Numbers, um, the Coloriage Mystere um, by Art Therapy and Hatchet Heroes. I don't, I'm not sure which is which. Um, the illustrations are by William Ball, Jeremy Mariaz, Letitia Sala and Edward Vothy. Um, so, like I said, I've had these ones sitting on my desk for quite some time, but... I actually found them a little bit intimidating because if you have a look at them, they're incredibly detailed, some more so than others. Um, the, yeah, these ones aren't too bad. Some of them are like filled with tiny, tiny, tiny little numbers all over the place. And it kind of, <laughs> kind of intimidated me a bit. But I pulled them out and I really enjoyed working in them and I just had a bit of fun. So I did two pages in this one. So this was the first page I started with and it was a bit of an experiment. Um, I just wanted to see how it was gonna work. And I, I chose this page because it looked simpler <laughs> because it had a lot of um, more open spaces and it was easier to see where the numbers were. So specifically chose this page. So I started out with my Crayola Super Tips um, and kind of colored the background part first. Uh, as you can see, it's quite patchy. Um, didn't really like the way that looked, but I, yeah, I wanted to try it out and see if it worked. Um, and then I used my Artistro paint pen in black to do all the black lines, which worked really well. Used the super tips to color the snake in. This is obviously the guy from um, Robin Hood. I can't think of his name now, but he's the, um, the king's kind of sidekick. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun and the Crayolas were good to use because I could match up the colors pretty well with what um, the, the colors down here called for. Um, 
But yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. I had a lot of fun, so I decided I would try another one. Again, I kind of just picked one rather randomly um, based on ease or what looked like it would be easier. And this one I did all with my Artistro paint pens. And I had no idea what this was going to be. And I was really puzzled and finally figured out that it was um, Thumper, who is one of my favorite Disney characters. So I was very excited to see his little face appear. Um, Thumper has a really soft spot in my heart. Um, when I was little, my grandmother lovingly hand sewed a beautiful puppet of Thumper for me and I absolutely love that thing. <laughs> um, so here's a real soft spot in my heart. So yeah, for this one, it was just Artistro paint pens and um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I don't have very many colors, so it was a little bit harder to match up the colors um, here with with my paint pens. I think I've only got like, like 36 colors or something. So it, yeah, definitely a little bit harder. It's still a little bit patchy in places. Um, some of the paint pens I found worked a lot smoother than others. But again, I just had a lot of fun. It's really simple, easy, mindless coloring. You don't have to um, think too hard about it. Um, I did learn a lesson in that um, going in to put all the black lines in first is definitely the way to go because it just makes life so much more easier. So. Um, that was kind of a learning curve for me because I hadn't realized that that was kind of what you were meant to do. <laughs> I was just kind of starting up in a corner and adding color and trying to figure out where it would go. Um, but definitely starting with number one, which is always black and adding the black lines, it makes life very simple and much easier. <laughs> um, and I do find that the paint pen works really well for adding those black lines. So I had a lot of fun doing this one and that was another one in um, Best of Le Grande Classique Color Riage Mystère Art Therapy Hatchet Heroes and the illustrators are listed there. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing some more in these books. And then I had another one of these books that had been sitting on my shelf for a while. So when I had um, accomplished those two pages in the first book there, I decided I'd pull this one out and have a go. So this is the Coloriage Mystere Princesses Coloring Book. Again, Color by Numbers by Art Therapy and Hatchet Heroes. The illustrator is Jeremy Mariez. And I did this page again. I just kind of picked it randomly. Didn't really know what I was getting. It turned out to be Cinderella. I think it's Cinderella anyway. Um, doing her hair again. I don't have all the colors, so it was difficult to find ones that matched exactly, um, but I did my best. <laughs> there is actually three shades of blue, uh, or four shades of blue. There's a dark blue, there's kind of like two mid-tone blues, but they ended up looking pretty much exactly the same, despite the fact that I used two different colored paint pens. But yeah, for whatever reason, they, they look pretty much the same on the paper um but I did try <laughs> and um yeah and then there's a light blue obviously and um, but again it was just a lot of fun quite simple and easy to do it doesn't take very long and really enjoyed it so that was another one done in one of my coloriage mystere books this one was princesses art therapy hatchet heroes and the illustrator is Jeremy Mariaz Okay, next up I have Luna by Maria Trolley, and this was another buddy colour. Um, this time I did this buddy colour with the lovely Dana from Dana's Colouring Obsession, and we chose to do this page. I think um, I think if I remember rightly, I'd shared it on my um, plans video for March, and, and um, Dana contacted me and asked if she could join in with me, and I said, absolutely. It's always a pleasure to do a buddy colour with Dana. So um, yeah, this was a fun page to do. I actually chose a color palette. So I recently got my hands on the Sarah Renee Clark um, color cubes and um, I decided that I would use it to help me with this page. I knew vaguely what I wanted. I knew I wanted obviously green leaves and green grass and yellow. So this, I was flicking through and I found this color palette which I thought worked perfectly. So it's got um, 
the orange, the yellow, the blue, and the two shades of green. So I pretty much went with that for my page. Um, yeah, um, what did I use? I used my Brute Funa Squares. Um, I used Sparkle Pop Pen for the centers of the flowers, for um, around the kind of butterfly, uh, for little strands in her hair. I wanted to add a little sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. Um, for her little buttons on her jacket and then to kind of go around the edges of her um, her kind of checkered badge bag not badge checkered bag I'm not sure if you can see that hopefully the light's catching that so there's quite a bit of sparkle on there um, I used a tiny bit of black um, jelly roll stardust for the little um, ladybird spots Again, I'm not sure if that's showing up absolutely clearly, but it's there. And then I used a bit of green on the leaf veins as well. So it's got lots of sparkle and shine. And this was a really fun little page to do. I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, so as I say, Buddy Colour with Dana from Dana's Colouring Obsession. I will pop her beautiful page up here for you to have a look at. As always, she did an amazing job. Absolutely stunning. Um, and Dana's work is always beautiful. It's always a pleasure to see her finished pages. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Lots and lots of fun. And I enjoyed using that um, colour palette. And I'm looking forward to doing some more in this book. Okay, next up, I have this book, which is one that I purchased when I was on my travels last year in October. Um, it's called Nature's Magic by Stratton Peterson. And I was kind of at a bit of a loose end, um, trying to think of the next page to do. I have did have plans for things, but they didn't all happen. And I was just kind of flicking through my books and I thought, I pulled this one out and thought, yeah, I wanna have a look at this one and see um, what I could find. And I decided to do this page. Um, so this is the Balm for Bruises page, um, which I thought was kind of fun, but I just thought it was a nice kind of spring page, really, um, a basket full of pretty flowers. So this one um, it tells you what the flowers are. So you've got Arnica, which are these yellow ones. You've got Comfrey, which are the kind of pinky, purplish colored ones. And you've got yarrow, which I colored white. I think yarrow can be yellow, white, or pink. I decided to go with white, so it had a bit of a contrast from the other flowers that I'd done in here. Um, this one I did entirely with my Stettler Design Journey pencils. Um, I found that they worked really well on this page. Um, they're quite a firm pencil. Um, so I have to admit, doing the blue background, was a bit of a killer, but <laughs> they worked really well for adding all the details to my plants. Um, I was a little bit unsure about the colors that I used. I wasn't sure it was working, particularly with these leaves. So um, the comfrey is probably meant to be a little bit purpler than I've colored it, but I only have a 48 set of the Design Journey pencils and I didn't have exactly the right color. So I worked with what I had um, and leaves are kind of it does actually say um black skinned roots and the leaves are actually quite dark when i googled it they're quite dark as well and i wasn't quite sure how to do that so i ended up kind of adding a touch of purple around the edges of the leaves and i wasn't sure at first whether i liked it or not but the more i look at it the more i do like it and i think it's turned out quite nicely um i don't think the light's doing it justice really but it, yeah, as I say, all done with um, just my Stedler Design Journey pencils. Did take quite a long time this one, but I really enjoyed colouring it. I had a lot of fun. I used Jelly Roll Stardust um, in blue for the border. I just added kind of stripes of um, blue Jelly Roll Stardust for that. Um, added a little bit of Jelly Roll Stardust to the centre of my yarrow flowers to add a little bit of shine and also to my um, comfrey flowers as well in a purple pinkish shade and then I used my silver um, Signo gel pen for all the kind of um, dots. I was thinking of doing them white but I wanted them to kind of 
shine a little bit so I decided to go with the silver and um, I really like this page I really enjoyed doing it it was a lot of fun as I say it was a little bit of a labor of love but I had a lot of fun doing it um, I also did just color those little flowers there but that didn't take long at all and um, this one was done again for March color your hoard 2024 hosted by Tees World of Adult Coloring and Lovella's Coloring so yeah really happy with that one and glad to have a page done in this beautiful book finally there are some gorgeous pages in this book and i would like to do some more and i feel quite inspired having done that one so this is from nature's magic by stratton peterson okay next up this has been like my um nemesis this book this one and rooms of wonder by johanna basford i have had for many many months and have not coloured in them <laughs> and um, they've been sitting on my shelf for quite some time. I keep pulling them out, I keep flicking through them, I keep thinking I need to colour them and I keep putting them back because I just, I don't know, get a little bit overwhelmed but I finally plucked up the courage and said no more, I really have to do a page in here and this is the page I chose. So again, it's got lots of sparkle and shine on it. Um, so this is... I call it the plate page. So I, yeah, had some ideas for this one. Um, I decided <laughs> I wanted it to look like an old fashioned kind of Victorian plate with the flowers on it and the gold trim. Um, so I used this paint, which is called Cadence Twin Magic um, Metallic Paint. And it's kind of a color shift paint of a blue and gold. And um, it's pretty cheap paint. I got it at a local art shop. Uh, I just thought I would try it out. So in some lights, it looks rather patchy. In other lights, it looks pretty good. Um, and it is nice and shiny. <laughs> um, I did add two coats of that to the background. I then went in with my gold um, Signo Metallic gel pen for the gold details. And once I had done that, I worked on the background. So I decided I wanted to keep it nice and simple and I decided to try some washi tape for a change. I've never used washi tape in a coloring book before. So it was a new technique to me. And I, the idea behind it was I wanted it to look like a plate that's been hung on the wall as a display. And so this is like my wallpaper in the background, the kind of striped wallpaper. So, um, that was that was the plan that was what I went with um, I then used my brand new Mitsubishi Uni colored pencils um, to color all of the flowers and then just a little bit of Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust um, to add to little bits and pieces I didn't want to add too much of the Stardust just to these little flower um, if you can see it there just the little kind of stamens on these flowers. I didn't want to add too much more shine because it's very shiny as it is, as you can see with the plate, um, is it very shiny. So I didn't want to add too much of that. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. It was a lot of fun to do actually. And very happy to have a page done in this book finally. <laughs> it's taken me a long time. And I did really enjoy doing it. So I don't know why I've been putting it off for so long. Um, I hope that I can do a little bit more. I did try and add a little bit of shadowing to the edge there to kind of just make it look like it was a plate hanging on the wall. I don't know that it's worked particularly well. I don't know if I've just ended up making it look a bit dirty. But um, yeah, that was kind of the look I was going for, a plate hanging on the wall um, as a display. Um, so yeah. I had a lot of fun and as I say, very pleased to have a page done in this book, Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. Okay, next up, I have another buddy colour, this one, I'm going to zoom you in again because this is a nice small little book. Um, this one was in Minor Isa Dash Africa by Rita Berman and I did a buddy colour with the wonderful Erica from Elm Colours and we decided to do this page with all the beautiful florals um i will show erica's lovely page over here as always her page is absolutely amazing she did a beautiful job love her color palette so soft and spring-like just perfect um 
So I used, I used a color palette for this. I don't know what I've done with that. <laughs> Again, it was a Sarah Renee Clark color palette. Where'd I put it? I really thought I put it in the book, but I obviously haven't. Um, but yeah, I, I took inspiration from that color palette for this one. So it was definitely out of my comfort zone, not colors I would have normally chosen for this page, but I think that they worked quite well. Um, I used Prismacolor Premier pencils. Um, I used a Sparkle Pop pen in gold, which you can see hopefully dotted around the page. And in black, um, so the black is actually, it actually looks red. <laughs> it's like black in the pen, but it actually comes out red. So you can just see it on the roses and on these little flowers around here. Um, hopefully you can see that. So I used that as well. I used some Secura Jelly Roll Stardust and Clear for my bees wings, which again, hopefully you can see nice and sparkly there. And um, yeah, that was it. Just pretty much pencil. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, had a lot of fun with it. And like I say, not colors I would normally choose. I definitely went out of my comfort zone for this one. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it worked. I think it, it it's quite cohesive and it works quite well. Um, and again, thank you to the wonderful Erica from Elm Colors for buddying with me. Really enjoyed working in this book. So that was Minor Rice Dash Africa by Rita Berman. Next up, another Rita Berman book. <laughs> this one is Mine Frulings Spies Gang. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly or not, but basically it translates to my spring walk. So this is her spring book. And I chose to do this page. Again, I've got color palettes. So I chose these two color palettes from my Sarah Renee Clark color cubes. Um, they've got much the same colors in them, um, just a few little you know, differences with the turquoises and the darker colors over here. So I decided to use those two um, and I did this page with the swans. Um, I really liked doing this one, I had a lot of fun. So again, I used my Tim Holtz Distress Watercolour Pencils to do the background. Um, they're quite soft. I think I'm learning how to use them a little bit better now. Um, I've definitely made some progress because I used them on my last page, which I'll show you, and I think they turned out rather nicely. But I based the whole background, um, including the water, all of the sky, and the ground in those distressed watercolor pencils. I then used my Black Widow pencils for all of the pencil work. I used Secura Jelly Roll Stardust in several colors um, for lots of bits and pieces. Hopefully you can see the shine <laughs> in various places. Um, I used Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen in a Crystal Clear for my two swans again. I'm hoping the sparkle shows up on camera. Um, it's definitely there. <laughs> um, and again, this was another one for March, Colour Your Hoard 2024 with Tease World of Colour, Adult Colouring, sorry, and Lavella's Colouring. This was my first page in this beautiful book and definitely want to do more. So I really enjoyed this one. Um, didn't, yeah, I'm, I need to work on crystals, how <laughs> to colour crystals because I really don't know how to do those. but. Overall, pretty happy with this page, really enjoyed it. So that was from Minor Frulings Spizer Gang by Rita Berman, or it's my spring walk. Excuse my pronunciation. And finally, my last page for the month is another Rita Berman page. This one comes from Die Welt under the Lupa Zoo Land, um, which is the land under the microscope, I believe. Um, and I did page and this was kind of like my Easter page for this year so I colored this page way back in 2022 and I actually used an um or got inspiration from Erica from Elm Colors who did a page in um it was a Hannah Carlson book with a rabbit I can't remember which page and which book it came from um but I'd done this one so a couple of years ago and I decided to come in and do this one and I tried to pull some of the colors across so that it looks a little bit cohesive. 
not exactly the same, obviously. But for this one, again, I used those Distress Watercolour pencils um, and I based everything in those pencils. Um, and I really liked the way they worked. I think I'm getting the hang of using them much better now. Um, so I really liked the way that turned out. Um, I then used my Mitsubishi Uni pencils to add all of my pencil shading. I used my Spectrum Noir Crystal Clear Sparkle Pen to add some glitter to my butterfly and my eggs. I'm hoping that shine is showing up. <laughs> it's very sparkly in real life. And I used Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust in several colors to add some little bits of bling here and there as well. I know I went around the edges of my pink flowers with um, the pink Jelly Roll Stardust. I did some purple on this flower here. I did some green dots on the leaves. I did purple around my little kind of berries. Um, <laughs> trying to get the light to shine on it. Um, but yeah, just went for a really pastel um, spring color palette with this one and really enjoyed doing it. I had a lot of fun. Um, and like I say, I really enjoyed using those Distress Watercolour pencils in this book. Um, I'm definitely going to be using them more often in my Rita Berman books. I think they work beautifully. And I really liked the way that they worked for basing um, the page. And I don't use very much water with them, so there's no bleed through or anything like that. Um, just really, really lovely. So I was quite happy with that one. So that was my kind of Easter page. And with that, that is all of my completed pages for March. Happy Easter, everybody, to all those who celebrate. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. And happy colouring. Take care.